Hi folks, I'm Gary Dunshi with Big Ben Saddlery and this month's tack tip I'm going to show you how to cut some lace strings out of a circle. Um, I know a lot of times you might need a lace that's longer than the scrap leather that you have. So you might need uh, six or eight feet of lace and all you have is a piece of scrap leather like this. So what you're going to need to do this is your leather one of these little inexpensive draw knives uses a razor blade and either a pocket knife or a head knife, something like that. And some wing dividers help, but if you don't have wing dividers, get you a six, couple of six penny nails and a piece of string so that you can draw a circle. And so the first thing that you're going to do is Try and get as big a circle as you can out of your piece of leather. So set your wing dividers and just make your circle with your wing dividers. And the one thing you want to be sure of is that the leather is consistent. Don't get off over into the flank on one corner because that leather is going to be stretchier than this over here that's more firm. So if you're in the belly, just stay in the belly. If you're in the back, stay in the back. Shoulder, stay in the shoulder. That sort of deal. Okay, I've taken the liberty to go ahead and cut a piece out. Got our circle made. And <clears throat> whenever we marked it with the calipers, it put a center dot for us. And that's going to be pretty important here in a minute. So what I'm going to do now is say I want a 3 8 inch width piece of lace to lace my flank billets back on. So I'm going to start cutting this circle here. And I'm just barely going to taper in just a little bit at a time. I'll show you in just a minute until you can't hardly tell where you started cutting in at. Kind of like that. Okay, so we've got that done, and now it doesn't matter if you do it from the rough outside or the slick outside. You hang it over the edge of your bench here. Put your nail right back through that center hole. Drive it down pretty good. And then take your handy dandy little uh, stripping tool and get it the thickness of the leather that you're going to be cutting. You don't want it wider. Of course if it was narrower it wouldn't work because it wouldn't go through there. But if you have it the right width then the leather won't turn up and give you an inaccurate cut. I guess I better set that. So we wanted a 3 8 inch piece, so we're going to set this to 3 8 of an inch and get after it. Once you get it started, the only thing you have to do is let pull on this piece that you're cutting off and let your circle turn. Okay, you might be wondering how they uh, make a 60, 70, 80 foot riata out of a hide of leather seven feet long. And this is how they do it. They cut big old circles out of the side and, uh, and just cut and cut and cut that you can get way over a hundred feet of lace out of a big circle that comes off the side of a of a cow. I'm going to get quite a bit off this little circle here. If the lace was, of course the thinner the lace is and the more you get. We could go a little farther, but I'm going to go ahead and 
call it off right there. I don't know how long this is. There's six feet, so seven foot piece of lace out of that little old eight inch circle. And it's kind of noodly looking there. But all you have to do is uh, put it in water or put some saddle soap on it and then stretch it. And it just straightens right out. This is without the saddle soap. If you put saddle soap on it, it'll, it'll wet it, like I said. It'll straighten even better. Then you got your straight piece of lace. Now it's eight feet long after we stretched it and got it straight. If you're going to use this for lace, um, you might want to bevel the edges. And so if you'll get a sharp pointed knife, it's got a really sharp point on it. And good and sharp really, really helps. Um, I'll show you how to bevel it right quick. Just dig your blade into the wood on your bench. Use this finger as your guide. Put the knife up next to the leather, the finger up next to the leather, and all you got to do is pull. And it just pulls a little taper off of there. And uh, you do it on both sides. And then whenever you lace whatever it is you're lacing, you don't have any of the rough outside showing whenever you're done. It's all lays down, rolls over. Looks really nice whenever you're done. Makes for a nice, neat job. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's beveled. You can see the red from the bottom side whenever it bevels. And then whenever you braid it or lace with it, it just rolls over and lays down real nice. That's our tack tip for this month. Appreciate you watching. If you know of a good tack tip you'd like to share with others, well, let us know about it and we'll tell everybody about it and where it came from. Thanks for watching.